Hello, so I'm going to be showing you how to make wine just from fruit juice cartons that you can purchase at the supermarket. This is super simple, it makes nice wine, it's about 12%. I've been doing this recipe for years, it saved me a lot of money. And if we look at a breakdown of costs, each time I make a demijohn, I spend about 240 on juice, 50p on sugar, and that totals about 48p per bottle. Now there are some upfront costs of course, you need the equipment, so if you haven't got any of this equipment, you're going to need to spend a little bit of money, probably about 40 quid, you need demijohns and airlocks, you can get two of them, the plastic ones are fine, I think they're a bit cheaper, that's about 10 quid, and then you just need funnel, siphoning tube, steriliser, yeast, yeast nutrient and pectolase. So that's these things here, once you've got these, these are going to last you for quite a long time, you'll make quite a few batches out of them. For the sugar, you can just get regular granulated sugar and half of one of these bags is going to do one demijohn. So if you're doing two at once, which is what I normally do, I just split a bag half each. And then for each demijohn, you need three cartons of fruit juice. Now the fruit juice, this is where you can mix up a little bit. I used to just get grape juice, pure grape juice. I used to use two of them and one apple juice but I'm finding it a little bit difficult at the moment in the supermarkets, like places like Tesco uh, and Asda, all these places don't seem to do grape juice, or if they do, it's in the chilled section, it's a lot more expensive. But I found this at Morrison's, this is grape, apple and raspberry juice. For this recipe, I'm just gonna use three of these, and that's gonna do one demijohn. But you can choose your own flavors, you could do just three pure white grape juice or dark grape juice, the thing to look out for is you want to make sure it is just pure juice and not a juice drink. If it says juice drink, then it's going to have a long ingredients list of all nasty stuff that you don't want to ferment. But if you look at the ingredients, grape, apple and raspberry juice from concentrate. It's fine if it's from concentrate, but just as long as it is pure juice. So first thing you want to do is just get your sugar, pour it into a pan and we just want 500 grams of sugar. So half of this bag. There we go, 499, close enough. And then that is gonna go on the hob. I'm putting a liter of boiling water in the pan. So even though the sugar has dissolved here, I'm just bringing it to the boil quickly, just to make sure that this is completely sterilized. And once that's boiled, I'm gonna switch it off, leave that to the side, and just let that cool down. So while that's cooling down, I'm gonna move on to sterilizing the demijohn and the funnel. Obviously we can't use boiling water to sterilize these, which is why we use the tub of sterilizer here. For 4.5 litre containers, dissolve one teaspoon of powder. Got the demijohn sterilizing, and in the pan, I've just got the funnel and the airlock for the demijohn. Going to leave these for five to ten minutes and then just give them a rinse with cold water. Right, they're all sterilized. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the funnel in there and I'm going to crack open the fruit juice and pour all three of these cartons into the damage one. So our sugar solution is now cooled down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this into the demijohn. Now that's all in there, all we need to do is add a teaspoon of pectolase, a teaspoon of yeast nutrient, 
and a teaspoon of dried active yeast and then we can just fit the airlock. Okay, this is just going to sit here at room temperature, about 19-20 degrees in my kitchen. Uh, next couple of days this is probably going to bubble up and it might start going into the airlock, making a bit of a mess. If it does, I'll just wait for it to calm down and then I'll just clean the airlock up, that kind of stuff. This will take about two weeks or so to finish fermenting. You'll know it's finished fermenting when it stops bubbling basically. As soon as it stops bubbling, like this one that I made about three weeks ago, then it's ready to be bottled up. Okay, it's the next day. Please just ignore the massive load of beer there. But <laughs> this is foaming up quite a lot, as you can see. It's not quite going yet. We will see the airlock bubbling quite a lot in the next couple of days. So I'll come back tomorrow. Two days later, and you can see that overnight it managed to make a little bit of a mess in the airlock there. But it's already calmed down. So I think I can actually uh, give this a clean out now. And if we look, you see it's bubbling away nicely there, it's fermenting. Because this has calmed down now, I can actually top it up with water now. This is cooled, boiled water, so that's sterilised. Oh, that's not supposed to happen. There we go, that's topped us up to our 4.5 litres, just about. Leave a little bit of a gap and I'll get this cleaned up. And just from being disturbed there, it's uh, got a little bit excited. So this is already bubbling away, you can see in the airlock there. Okay, it is exactly 23 days later. That's how long it took to stop fermenting. The bubbles have finally stopped rising in this. You can see the yeast has settled at the bottom of the demage on there. So this is ready to be bottled up. If you want to be all fancy, you can get like bottles and a corking kit and all that stuff, but it's perfectly fine just to use old plastic bottles, lemon and lime bottle there, old wine bottles. As long as these can be tightly screwed on at the top, and you can sterilize them, they're fine to use. So I'm gonna be siphoning this into these. I'm gonna sterilize all these first. A lot of these are liter bottles, so I'm not quite gonna make up six bottles. So I might fill up these four, and then I might have one of these left over, we'll see. I've got all six bottles sterilized and rinsed with water. Same with the lids and the siphoning tube there. All I've gotta do is siphon it from the demijohn one at a time. So there we have it, six bottles of wine, well, six bottles of wine, and uh, just a few quid. You wanna put these into storage for two to three weeks or so, let them mature a little bit, they'll taste a little bit nicer then. And I can't believe I've got to the stage in life where I'm saying this, but here's one I made earlier. I made this about two months ago. It's the exact same recipe, grape apple raspberry cartons from Morrison's. And this, because it's matured, you can see it's a lot clearer. That's because any remaining sediment has settled at the bottom there, as you can see. I'm going to give this a little test, and you can see how nice it tastes by the look on my face.
Mwah.